Is there something you could say to what it takes to hire a great team? What uh, What's a good interview process? How do you know uh, the guy or gal are, are going to make a great member of a, of a engineering team that's doing some of the hardest work in the world? You know, we developed an, an interview process that uh, I was quite fond of. It's a little bit of a hard interview process because... The best interviews, you ask somebody about what they're interested in and what they're good at. Mm -hmm. And if, if they can describe to you something that they worked on and you saw they really did the work, they solved the problems, and you saw their passion for it. Um, and you could ask, but, but that, what makes that hard is you have to ask a probing question about it. You have yeah. to be smart enough about what they're telling you they're expert at to ask a a good question. And so it takes a pretty talented team to do that. Um, but if you can do that, that's how you tap into, ah, this person cares about their work. They really did the work. They're excited about it. That's the kind of person I want at, at my company. You know, at Google, they taught us about their interview process and it was a little bit different. Um, you know, we, we evolved the process at, at Boston Dynamics where it didn't matter if you were an engineer or you were an uh, administrative assistant or a financial person or a technician. You gave us a presentation. You came in and you gave us a presentation. You had to stand up and talk in front of us. And I just thought that was great to tap into those things I mm -hmm. just described to you. Mm -hmm. At Google, they taught us, and I, and I think I, I understand why, right? They're hiring tens of thousands of people. They need a more standardized process. So they would sort of err on the other side where they would ask you a standard question. I'm gonna ask you a programming question and I'm just gonna ask you to you know, write code in front of me. That's a terrifying you know, application process. Yeah, uh, It does let you compare candidates really well, but it doesn't necessarily let you tap in to who they are, yeah. <laughs> right? Because you're asking them to answer your question instead of you asking them about what they're interested in. Mm -hmm. Um, but th frankly, that process is hard to scale. And even at Boston Dynamics, we're not doing that with everybody anymore. We're, but we are still doing that with, you know, the technical, the technical people. Um, but we've, because we too now need to sort of increase our rate of hiring, uh, not everybody's giving a presentation anymore. But you're still ultimately trying to find that, uh, basic seed of passion. Yeah. For, and for the world. You know, did they really do it? Did they, did they? find something interesting or curious, you know, um, and do they care about it? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, uh, somebody admires um, Jim Keller and he, he likes details. So one of the ways you could, sh if you get a person to talk about what they're interested in, how many details, like how much of the whiteboard can you fill out? Yeah. Well, they, well, I think you figure out, did they really do the work if they know some of the details? Yes. And if they have to wash over the details, well, then they didn't they, do they it. Didn't do it. <laughs> especially with engineering, the work is in the details. Yeah. 